Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our May webinar, Boost Productivity by Connecting Data Across All Enterprise Applications. The webinar today will be presented by Robin Horner, Inside Sales Director and Digital Workflow Expert here at DocuWare. My name is Nicole Schmeider. I'm the Marketing Specialist at DocuWare, and I'll be monitoring the Q&A session at the end. A few, few housekeeping items before we begin. The webinar is being recorded and will be sent out to you once it's available. In the handout section of your GoToWebinar panel, please be sure to download our newest DocuWare case study that showcases both the business and human benefits that can be achieved um, using DocuWare. Thank you again for joining us today, and now I'll pass it off to Robin. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, again, my name is Robin Horner. I'm the Inside Sales Director and Digital Workflow Specialist here at DocuWare. I've been with DocuWare for 30 years. And what we're gonna start off with is the agenda for today's webinar. Uh, setting a new pace for your organization. We're going to do a live presentation of DocuWare along with our Smart Connect product, and we'll do an open question and answer session at the end. And due to the volume of people on the call, if you have any questions, please type them into the GoToWebinar question box, and we'll answer them at the end of the session. So let's get started. What slows the pace of companies today? Information feels like it should be right there, but it's not. Team resources are constantly stretched. Everybody's freaking out about security, but no one's sure what the plan is. And technology that's supposed to help is flat out painful to use. First, let's talk about digit digitization. This is your starting point. A lot of people call this paperless, and that's a good description. The goal here is to move all information into digital format so it can be more easily indexed, searched, accessed, shared, secured, and archived. We don't have to belabor the problems of paper. It's expensive, slow, prone to loss, and just a giant pain to deal with. Digitization drives efficiency. This is all about cutting unnecessary costs out of the bottom line, doing the same volume of work with fewer resources. My guess is you've done a lot of this already, and we all know there's a limit to cutting. If you're like most, you're seeking the next level. Document management at its core takes the information that's now digital and makes it more useful to, your, to you, your team, and your whole organization. Finding stuff is easier, security can be locked down, workers can work on whatever devices they have at hand, and compliance, whether a HIPAA, GDPR, Sarbanes-Oxley, or just plain old audit preparation, is far, far easier. This new level of information empowerment drives productivity, the ability for your organization to do more with the same resources. It's not about cutting costs but ensuring workforce hours aren't lost to tedious manual draining tasks. Our customers love this. They talk about it all the time, but what's really at stake and what starts to really move the meter for your organization is workflow automation. Now you can take all of the digital information and completely automate where it goes. Who sees it? when it needs approval, who gets notifications, how it's archived, and even when to dispose of it. Imagine your knowledge workers only interacting with the information they need at the point of decision making. Suddenly, your team is not just productive, suddenly your team is not just productive, they're effective, ensuring everyone is it executing the most important, valuable work that really drives the organization forward. It drives what all leaders talk about, business innovation, great employee experience, game-changing customer engagement. DocuWare fundamentally shifts your business into a new pace for productivity and execution. Move forward from digitized scattered information to one where documents and data I'm sorry, move forward from disorganized scattered information to one where documents and data are available at the point of decision. 
Automate redundant, tedious tasks for your team to accomplish more and focus on projects that matter. Security across the board is improved. Compliance mandates like HIPAA and GDPR are addressed with ease. And finally, enough with heavy complex software. Use technology on your device of choice with an experience built to get stuff done. So let's see DocuWare in action. What you're seeing on your screen right now is the DocuWare interface. The DocuWare interface is web-based. It can be used in any browser. Um, over here on the left-hand side, we have document trays. Document trays are the same thing as the plastic tray on your desk. When you bring documents into your tray, and I'll just um, drag and drop some files in here. You can drag and drop from, your, from a folder on your computer or your desktop. You can click on the import and browse for files. You can scan them in using a desktop scanner or a network scanner, or you can use your multifunction device to scan documents in. Once you have a document in your tray, you can simply double click on it and open it up in the viewer to work with it before you ultimately store it in the filing cabinet. Once it's in the viewer, you have the ability to print it, email it. You can change the display by rotating, going to full page. You can add annotations to the document. So if you want to do a redaction, you can select the color for your redaction, and you can redact information off the document. So when you send that out, that information will not be seen. You can also turn that off. And you can also delete that annotation, too, if you want. So let's go back and turn that on, highlight it, delete our annotation. So there, we're back to our normal document. Now, let's say, for example, that all six of these documents belong to one transaction. Well, you could store them individually, or you could select them in the order that you want and clip them together. And click on clip. So there we have one document that contains six individual documents, but it's going to be stored as one file. Now we want to store that in our filing cabinet. So we click on store. Select our filing cabinet. Now, DocuWare has numerous ways of automating the index. We have OCR, we have our intelligent indexing, but if you have to do indexing manually, DocuWare makes it very easy. You don't even have to touch your keyboard. You can just highlight the information on the document, and it will drop it right into the appropriate document field. You can also select from a list of documents, for example, for the document type. You can select a predefined list and restrict people from using any entry that's not in that list. When it comes to the date, you can take, of course, the date off the document, no matter what format it's in. You can also use the X key on your keyboard to, go, to put in the current system date. You can use your minus key to go back, your plus key to go forward. Or you can use the handy calendar picker and select the day, the month, and the year, or simply click on today. So once you have this document indexed, you simply click on the store button the document is going into the file cabinet. And of course, with automated ways of indexing, the document would not come into your tray, it would go directly to the file cabinet, so you're really not seeing that document until you have to go and find it. So now, we wanna find that document. So we click on our search, and again, we don't even have to use our keyboard, we can simply select from a list of the documents that we want. So we know that this was for Flying Tom, and we know the document type was a signed lease. There's our document. We double click on it, open it up in our viewer, and you can see that there are multiple pages in this particular file, and there's multiple files in this document that was stored. So we can go through the different pages of each document, or we can go through each document. You can see this one is a PDF. We can go to the next one, which is a Word document, this one is a JPEG, this one is an Excel file, another PDF, and finally a simple text file, not even a document, just a simple text file. So DocuWare doesn't care what type of file you want to store. We can st store and, and 
any type of file and display over 250 different types of files that are used in today's computer environment. What I'd like to do now is simply um, show you a couple of integrations that we have available, um, including our Smart Connect. So I'm going to open up standard Microsoft Outlook. We're using Outlook 365. We have a client on our machine. And we're going to store some emails and show you how you can integrate uh, Outlook with DocuWare to find to store emails directly from Outlook and to be able to find those. And then we'll show you a couple other ways here too. So in our Outlook interface, we have a DocuWare um, in our toolbar. We also have some quick buttons right here. So we have an email here from a lady called Helly Iceberg. We want to store that in DocuWare. So all we do is highlight it and click on our select our, our configuration and click on store. That is going to open up the DocuWare store dialog. Now these fields in the store dialog can be anything you want. You can have as many as you want. You can name them anything you want. So you can be very specific about how you categorize documents and the, the fields that you use to find those documents at a later date. Now, I want to put in the company name and contact for this. So I'm going to click on the open email right in the DocuWare interface, and it opens the email. I can then go ahead and type in Frost Machine. Corp and Heli Iceberg. I have all the in index information I need to classify this email. I'm going to go ahead and store it. The email is now stored in DocuWare. Now, one of the quick, easy ways to find it if we receive another email from the same person is to click on our quick search button. What that's going to do is it'll go out to DocuWare and it'll find that email. Right here, I can go ahead and double click on it, open it up, read it, and make a determination of what I want to do with the next email I receive. Again, I'm just going to store that. This time, the company name and contact are already filled in because we did a lookup on previous emails with the same email address and then populated the company name and contact. So go ahead and store that. There. Now, let's say Helly Iceberg calls us up on the phone. We don't have any emails in our inbox to do a link with. Well, let's just go to our address book because we know she's in our address book. We open up our address book, and right here is a button for DocuWare Smart Connect. I click on that, and it's going to go out and find all of the documents from Heli Ice that have Heli Iceberg's email address in it. And here are the two documents I just stored. So I can just go ahead and open it up and view it and, make, and answer her questions that she has. Now let's look at our Smart Connect from a different perspective. Let's look at it in the accounting department. So let's go over to our accounting department and see how they would use Smart Connect to streamline and make them more productive in finding documents. Let's say they have a, a document from a, um, a customer and the customer calls to question them about the, the invoice. So let's open up this one here from Flying Tom. Customers calling them and asking them questions about it. Well, normally she would have to go back to the file cabinet, pull the files out, go back to her desk. With DocuWare, she simply clicks on Invoice Out, goes in and finds that document. There it is right there in front of her instantly. She can then go ahead and print it, fax it, or email it. If she wants to email this to the customer, let's say he said he didn't receive a copy of it, she just clicks on this, it opens it up, she addresses it, puts the subject in, and clicks on Send and Store. That will send the outgoing email in DocuWare and also send it out through normal Outlook. That's just one example of how Smart Connect, Smart Connect can be used in the accounting department. Let's say we have an invoice for a, a vendor that we've dealt with, and we want to call the vendor and have this invoice in front of us. Well, we simply get the vendor on the phone, go here, open the, the record, and click on invoice, oops, sorry, invoice in, and there is the invoice. We can intelligently make a decision and discuss it with our vendor about this invoice. Let's say we're using a CRM. 
here's the uh, here's the CRM. We want to look for all the records that we have stored in our system from Thomas Rain or anybody that contains the name Rain. We click on our contacts, and there's all the records in there that have Thomas Rain or Rain in the in the name someplace. So we can e easily find all those correspondence. So you're saying, well, does this require programming? How difficult is it to get these buttons on here? Well, it's actually very simple. If I go here to my um, documents, I'm going to open up this document. I want to do a search on anything. I want to do a search on the company name that's in my address field. So I just go down here to my Smart Connect. Click on Manage My Smart Connect Configurations. Click on Smart Search. That's what I want to do. I'm going to select my filing cabinet. I go to Next. I take a screen cap of my program that I'm going to be using. Click on Yes. I like that. It puts it in here. I go to Next. I define the information that I want to search for. I want to search for this information here, and in my DocuWare file cabinet, that information is in the company field. I put my button on the my interface. It can be either a caption or it can be an icon. We'll make it an icon. I go to Next, assign the users I want to be able to use this, save and close. Give it a name. We'll just say company, click on save, close this down, and there's my button. When I click on it, it's going to go out and find everything from Flying Tom. And there are all my documents from Flying Tom. If I go back here to, let's say, this one here, click on that. There's only one document in there, and it brings that document up instantly so I can make uh, intelligent decisions and have a, a meaningful conversation with my customer while they're on the phone without having to get up, put them on hold, go to my file cabinet and pull out those documents. Or if the document isn't in the file cabinet, I have to go running around the office and find out who has it. So very easily, all the documents are readily available right at your fingertips just by clicking on one button and DocuWare will display that document right in front of you on your computer so you can have all the information. And again, if you need to email that or print it out, it's simply a matter of clicking one button. So I want to send the document in its original format. And there it is in my outgoing email as a PDF attachment. So let's go ahead and finish up our PowerPoint. And let's just bring this back up to full screen. And so DocuWare Cloud. Full document management and workflow automation in the cloud. Keep in mind, all of the features that I just demonstrated are available in DocuWare Cloud Solution to keep your work, to keep work moving forward anytime, anywhere. You'll enjoy the best of DocuWare everywhere you go. DocuWare has a complete feature set high with high usability and high utility, and is built on the trusted Microsoft Azure backbone. This is what customers are using to set a new pace with DocuWare. Uh, this is from Levi's. Everybody is familiar with Levi's. Most everybody has a pair of Levi's. Uh, the increasing digitalization of business processes will help us to significantly save both time and money. This is Smithfield. Smith we are able to reach our aggressive growth goals with our existing resources. Talbot, DocuWare gave us real-time transparent processes and seamless information flow between departments. Uh, with DocuWare, you're working with clarity, focusing on innovation, establishing future-ready IT, DocuWare customers are doing this right now. So now I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Nicole, and uh, we'll give you a minute to type in any questions that you have in the question box.